back to another episode of Chow Crunch. Crunch, where we have. So today we are at Sea House Fish and Chip, located on Rupert and Kingsway. This is the cheapest fish and chip you'll find in Vancouver. If you like it, you should definitely try them out because they've been around for 20 years and they have not raised their price. Whoa! Exactly. Insane. If you like what you see, do support these guys. They've been around forever. So yeah, let's go in. Let's get in. All right, we are at Sea House Fish and Chips. So this place has been around for 24 years, super long, and we've been talking to the owners, and apparently they have never raised their price. Wow. That is why it's so cheap still. Like you, we got three pieces of uh, fish with chips, and it was 9.95 under 10 bucks. That's how cheap it is. Like, and I think it's for the value, for the price, and for the taste and quality. I think it's pretty good. Let me just grab some fish. So you see this. Ooh, it's looks crispy. good. Yeah, you got the tartar sauce. Crispy. So, yeah. All right. It's pretty good. Like, the batter is really crispy. Yeah. Not too oily like some other ones. Mm. It, it's almost like a like a egg roll, like a deep fried egg roll. Yeah. Egg like roll, the, hey? Yeah. Mm. Like the, the, the bread. Like the, the, yeah. I yeah, guess the like... breading is like, it's not super thick. Like, some mm. fish and chip places, like, super thick. So, this is like a simple batter. Yeah. Very thin. Mm -hmm. Still crispy. Mm -hmm. And like pretty flavorful. The fish is like pretty good. Yeah, it's and, like, juicy still. It's not yeah. overcooked at all. Mm. Tartar sauce is really good. Mm. Yeah, the other thing I have to try is the chips now. Yeah. Chips are still pretty crispy. Yeah, just like regular chips. Any, yeah. Like anywhere else you would get a little thicker cut. Mm. Mm, okay. Other than that, it's fine to me. Yeah. For me, the, the chips, maybe a little bit seasoning on it a little bit salt i think they're pretty i would say basic here like it's all you can get fish and chips so you can spice it up add some salt uh, like hot sauce add some salt pepper vinegar whatever you like on your fish and chip but you don't see places like this anymore in vancouver yeah for sure Pat, what do you think yeah Pat, try it out i'm fancy i don't want to get my hands dirty it's fancy uh pat's using a knife and fork for his fish and chips oh yes Similar to like this little skin hair. Yeah. You're right. It's like the texture is kind of like an egg roll. Yeah. Oh, nice. Alright. Let's see. Let's chow. Mmm. Tartar sauce is pretty good. Yeah, the skin, it's kind of like, it's not like the traditional like um, fish and hips where it's just like, Dunked in the batter and let let it go, but it's got like a skin to it, like um, what is it tofu curd or like oh, okay, bean yeah. curd or you know yeah. like the skin of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's like that. I, I really like it. So uh, see how the fries are or chips. So okay. fine. <laughs> Probably could use some a bit of salt or a bit more salt. I think maybe a little crispier would be nice too. But I mean, I'm not really here for the fries. The fish is really good though. And I really feel like like I'm in the living in the nineties again or something. Like all this decor is like I don't know, like pre two thousand man. Like, did you check out that Coke sign? Yeah, the tartar sauce is actually pretty good here. Fish fish is definitely like I think the highlight. Yeah. The place. I think it's really good. For what like especially for this is cod, right? So it's mm -hmm. not like mm -hmm. the the cream of the crop. So imagine if we had like halibut, right? Yeah. It'd be like on another level. They actually do have halibut here. It's a little bit more expensive than just the regular one. Okay. So if you do want the halibut, so that is more traditional. So, but I don't mind this at all for like 10 bucks, three pieces. Feeds, mm -hmm. you know. Take Feeds that. three. Yeah, <laughs> three <of us>. <laughs> <laughs> And this skin is really different. Like like Pat was saying, like yeah. that tofu curd. Yeah. I, I don't think I've had anything like this. It's, it's a bit more chewier, mm -hmm. but in a good way. Yeah. But yeah, it's different. Yeah, it has that nice uh, mouth feel to it. Mm. Do you guys like uh, vinegar on your chip? I, do you guys put it on the chip or the fish? Uh, either or, if you like it, that's why you put the lemon. But I'm not a big fan of vinegar on my fish and chip. Uh, I like yeah. it plain. Same with me. Yeah, just like pretty much salt, yeah. tartar sauce, that's it. Yes, yeah, keep it simple. Mm. Yeah, that's true. When you get fish and chips, you, you want the tartar sauce and like a good piece of fish. Oh yeah. Ratings guys for Sea House Fish and Chips. Hmm. You ready for this? Yes. Okay. I'm good. One, Mike, three. you ready? Ready. All right. Three, two, one. one. 
two, two one. Whoa. All right, uh, Pat, go first. I really like their fish. Um, the fish was, like I said, it was like wrapped in like that skin kind of texture. So it's kind of like that tofu skin where it's like doesn't really like just break off like normal batter, but it's just like kind of like you know, like it just stretches and it's such a nice texture in your mouth. Uh, I didn't really like the fries, but again, fish and chips. Eh, I'm more for the chips, so or more for the fish. Sorry. So yeah, two for me. All right, I give it a two. This is mainly for the fish and the value of it. Uh, for that price, anywhere in the city, ten dollars for three pieces. Um, you can't find that anywhere else. And also, they got an award for fish and chips. That was a decade old, but they still got an award for this place. So definitely worth checking out if you're around the city for some cheap, good quality eat. Uh, okay. All right, Mike. All right. Well, I think it's worth it because for you know under ten dollars for two, three pieces of fish and chips, tartar sauce was amazing. Oh, yeah. Fish batter is really different, and in a good way as well. And it's really worth checking out if you're in the area, making a, a kind of a special trip. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, Kevin. All right, guys. So if you're in Vancouver, go check them out. Support these guys. They're definitely worth your time. Check out their chips. So let us know in the comments below if you visit this place. Um, I think that's it. So ciao. Ciao. Support